See, this Diwali is a complete package festival for our overall development. At the physical level, the mental, intellectual, the spiritual level, and the compassion, love, sharing, all aspects of a perfect human life can be enabled by celebrating Diwali with the right intent. <coughs> you know, the lamp itself, the meditation on the lamp, is itself very deep. The lamp itself is a physical body, the oil in it is the mind, the cotton wick is the soul. So the uh, unlit cotton wick is the dormant soul. Unless the soul is activated, we cannot have naturally or spontaneously the great virtues of life. So one has to lit the soul from an outside source. That means if you have a good lamp with a good oil and a cotton wick, an external source of fire or, or another awakened soul can only light your soul. That is the necessity of the Guru it shows. Right? So that is where the, the, the Trayodashi, the first day of Diwali, you make your body capable. And in, in the Naraka Chaturdashi day is where your mind is cleansed of toxic elements by meditating on Narakasura. So you need to take divine help for each of these elements, right? On the Trayodashi day, you need to worship Dhanavantri, Lord Dhanavantri, and remember his pastimes in the Samudra Manthana and how he enabled Ayurveda, how he brought the gift of Ayurveda to our society. And by meditating on him, you absorb the divine energies from Lord Dhanavantri by which your physical health is enabled. And similarly, how Lord Krishna, along with Satya Mama, went to Prajyotishpura, which is modern-day Gauhati too, kill Narkasura. So Narkasura represents an impurity in our consciousness. <coughs> so the Brahmanda and Pindanda concept is there. So whatever happens in Brahmanda, there is a representation in the Pindanda. So all the demons in the Vedic literatures, they represent also the virus in our consciousness and a mental impurity, which can be cleansed by meditating on the fight, the vanquishing of the demon. And it also has beautiful prayers in each of this vanquishing, like the Mother Earth's. Since Narkasura is the son of Mother Earth, there are prayers of Mother Earth, there is prayers of the queens who were, the princess who were liberated from the prison house of Narkasura. So like that. So then the, <coughs> the actual Diwali day, day is where you light your, your soul, right? Then the fourth day is the Bali Bhatyami, which uh, shows about compassion and charity that having wealth is not enough, but you should have the capability to give wealth, to distribute wealth, to charity. Otherwise, it will not lead to well-being. You see in the West, all the billionaires, they are doing some charity because wealth corrupts and, and invisible vibration comes and it destroys trust, love, and all this family tensions increases when one holds wealth beyond a limit. And the fifth day is about compassion and love, the Bhaiduj festival. So basically the empowerment, the physical, mental cleansing actually, right? And then of course the light your soul, that is the cotton wick is the soul and that has to be lit. So this is Diwali is a complete package. Thank you.